seeing dead invaders is joyous. We look at photos of them, burned, disfigured, no longer dangerous. Suddenly it's not disturbing, it's a natural healthy reaction. Empathizing with them is a deviation. Their society is our enemy too. Most of them either support the war or don't care. Others remain silent. Conditioned by their empire, they play along with the criminal regime. This war is genocidal. So is Russia's drafting campaign. Their regime wants to wipe out Ukrainians and Crimeans, but in the process, they are also wiping out the indigenous peoples of suppressed, colonized republics of the Russian Federation. This is an enormous, deranged ethnic cleansing. For centuries, Russia has been trying to tighten its grip on Ukraine. The far-reaching history of linguicide, repressions, the erasure of authentic culture and its replacement with a foreign surrogate, these are merely surface examples of how the so-called Russian world was systematically eating us up. Now, however, what remains of Russia's imperial influence in Ukraine they are destroying without our assistance. It's being burned down and demolished, along with our cities. In a final act of barbarous violence, the greedy two-headed monster is devouring itself. At last, we are witnessing the suicide of Russian imperialism.